country music. Dad loved this song. I just call tell you that I miss you. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerk bot. I guess mom left her purse back here. Dad, turn it up. the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but... I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? 
Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was... Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and, uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey! Thanks, Carrie. No problem. What the hell? What have you got here? Twitch. Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours! Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Congrats. You've actually got me feeling sorry for Arcadia Bay's most spoiled brat. That's how much of an asshole you're being right now. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat! You shut the fuck up! Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. 
Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. Who wouldn't understand? Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named, uh, Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes- Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You gave her that, Elf Barbarian. I did. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? 
We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The Raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set.